Thanks for tuning in. So today's video is something completely different. If you're a subscriber of ours or if you watch any of our videos, you already know that typically we are shooting fishing content. So we take our kids fishing all over the place, whether it's saltwater, freshwater, lakes, ponds, uh, oceans, rivers, you name it. But uh, in the course of shooting all these fishing videos, we found that we're dragging around all this GoPro and GoPro equipment that was actually kind of hard to keep track of and um, keep all in one place. So I looked at GoPro bags and uh, accessory bags. They're all padded, they're kind of heavy, they're kind of big, and they're really expensive. And I didn't want to do all that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I spent $3 in an office supply store while I was shopping for my kids' school supplies, and I came up with an awesome solution to carrying all the GoPro and GoPro accessories that you need with you, whether you're filming your adventures fishing, uh, mountain biking, hiking, skydiving, whatever it is. Uh, this will be lightweight, it's water resistant, and you can throw it right in a backpack, um, right in the back of your car, even strap it to a bike or a kayak, and you're good to go. So for three bucks, I made myself a water resistant GoPro case that holds my GoPro, my three tripods, um, all of the accessories, all that good stuff. So stay tuned. I hope this is helpful for you. All right, so let's see how I pack this up. Um, I'm going to start with the biggest thing first. So that's my Photo Pro uh, tripod. This is, it's really compact, but it also has this sort of big uh, mounting plate on it. So it is the biggest item. I find that turning it sideways gives me the most space. So that one's first. Then the bendy tripod comes next. Get that in there. My little floating handle. You see I still have all this space. So the biggest thing left is actually the GoPro itself. Actually, I usually do it this way or that way. Either way. Um, so that just keeps your screen protected. I can stick a thumb screw right next to it. Um, the last biggest thing is actually the head mount. Um, this would be the same thing for a chesty. Uh, the only size on this thing is this one mount. So I just find a spot where that will fit. And then the rest of the strap just kind of squishes down over it. Um, and then, you know, just have all these little random things left. A um, couple cables, an extra battery, etc. These can just sort of smudge into any, any spot that you can find. So you don't have to be particularly careful about the way you pack this thing up, which is awesome. Obviously, you may not have the exact same equipment that I do, but I bet you, you don't carry much more than this. So all that stuff is just kind of tossed in there and it closes right up, no problem. Check that out. Now, this is not waterproof, it is water resistant. So as you can see, there's a little bit of, you know, uh, area where water could infiltrate. But even if you drop the thing in the water, uh, it's not gonna float, but, it will keep all your stuff uh, relatively dry and uh, allow you to not have to go diving for 10,000 little pieces and parts. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm gonna put a couple of links down in the description for some comparable pencil cases. They're about the same size and similar prices. I see them on Amazon anywhere from about $3 to about $8. And uh, if you like this video, please leave a comment down below. And uh, if you like fishing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the little bell next to it so you'll never miss out on another video. Thanks so much for watching.